my channel today we're working in inkscape and i will go ahead and i will set my document properties and i will select my page size and my printer and the size of the paper i'm using so what we are doing we are splitting this image in inkscape in order to get a larger print for our sublimation print so my document size is 8.5 by 11 go back to file import and your files will populate and you just go ahead and choose the picture or image that you are working with you can also click that square button on your right side with an arrow on it it's an import and export icon right on your right side five and six the fifth and the sixth icon so it will take me a while to find my image as my images is not fully organized on here so yeah it will be easier once your image is organized just to pick the image you want click the image click OK and it will pop up on your page okay so now what you will want to do is size your image to the size that you need it to be on your shirt so I will be working with 13 inches by 10 inches 13 inches wide 10 inches high and I will close that lock right there so it can lock in the size of my image there we go now you will click that gray square and now you are making a square on your image and your square you want this square to be the size of your paper which will be 8.5 by 11. So you can go ahead and type that in, make it much easier rather than just drag in the box. That's 11 and that is 8.5. That's the image, that's the size of the paper in your printer. Now, since that is already selected, the box, the gray square that I just created, I will go up here to edit and I will duplicate, make a copy of that square so I can cover the other part of my image. I will just drag that there. And if you notice, I am leaving it overlap the squares. That way I can piece my image together. You don't want to put it towards the end because it will be harder to line up. Well, you want that little overlap section. Now I will select that entire area and I will duplicate it. Okay, so now I am just like moving these out the way, trying to give myself more space to work with before I continue. So I will just go ahead and select that entire area and what we will do is drag that onto our document. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out that way. I can make my stuff smaller and give myself a little extra space to work with. That way when I select areas, I am selecting just the part I need that needs to be selected. So there we go, select that. Now what you will do is, you will delete one of your gray squares. So the gray square you delete means you won't keep that section. So we won't keep that section of our image in this first part. We're keeping the section that the gray, gray square is still covered. So object, clip, set and there you go that's the first half of your image now i'll move that out of the paper and i'll go ahead and i will select this entire image right here along with the gray squares i will drag it onto my document area 
and I will do the same procedure. The only difference is I will remove the opposite side of the gray square because we do not want to keep that side. So we remove that side. Then you select the entire area, including your document page. You go to object, you go to clip, and you go to set. And that get rid of that part. So now we have the two pieces of our image that will make image that will make one image on our print. So how I line it up when you have your printout, you'll just overlap it so you can get your perfect one size image. So now I will put this half back in there and I will export this image. Click that button right there, export this document. I will select page. I will select export as. It's going in my download file and I will just give this a name. Click the save button and then you hit the export button. And we will repeat this procedure for your second half. I will put that in my document and I will select the document. I will make sure page is highlighted and then I will click export as, as to give it a name and where you want it to be saved. Click the save button and then you hit export. So basically these files is on my computer. So let's go to my computer, go to my finder, go to my downloads. You see there's squad gold one and two and it shows up as blank pages. Click on it. There you have, I have my first half of my image. Going back and I'm going to click on squad gold two and I have the second half of my image and your next step will be just to print this from your printer. Mine is set up for sublimation so it automatically mirrored my image. If not, you need to set your printer where it mirrored or reversed your image. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. Just take your time, pause the video as much time as needed. Thank you for watching guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I really hope I helped you out.